I can tell you a story. I was leader of a, a sport fishing community for kids for many years. During those times, we always went down in strumming night fishing for sea trout. One of those evenings, a good friend of mine asked, what's one of your thing on your bucket list? And I told him, no, I want to go steelhead fishing in the States. He said, we got the best sea trout fishing and salmon fishing in the world here. Why do you want to go over there? Because it's cool. My name is Klaus, Klaassen. I'm from Sweden. I'm a lure builder, sport fisherman, excellent chef. I come from a small fishing village in Sweden. My grandfather, he was a hardcore fisherman. We fished also to, uh, to have food on, the, on our dinner table, you know. Fishing is, it's a safe zone for me. I was brought up in a very dysfunctional family. I also had a very loving and caring mom, but my safe zone was my grandparents. My grandma was a chef. I felt secure in the kitchen, you know, I felt straight at home. Cooking is very creative. And combine that with my grandpa and me going fishing, we brought home a lot of fish. And we played around with it and cooked with it. So it just came natural. I actually decided to be a chef when I was 11 years old. I ran a couple of restaurants and I was doing way too much partying. I was doing the, the whole rock and roll chef myth, you know. My life, it came to a turning point. Either go zombie mode or try to find myself again because I was lost. So we were doing a catering in a large jazz festival. In the center area of stuff, and we had this big river called Strömmen. And on the way back, we were driving and I see this guy standing on a, the side of the river fighting a huge, huge salmon. Probably the most spiritual experience I ever had. Two days later, I moved into Strömmen and fished hardcore ever, every day. Jarn, and we need some thread, um, super glue, um, and some other funky stuff. Let's go. I found the the energy and the curiosity to do different things. I tied flies when I was younger. It wasn't until 2000 I got the real passion for it, the real glow. Peter Berggren, he showed me a pattern called Svart Sonker. Black Sonker, it's a rabbit fur uh, streamer. I kind of missed the creativity that I had and I found that tying flies. Fishermen are always searching for that extra thing that you can't get, but that would catch a good fish. So freaking awesome. So my kind of pattern started to, to be a little bit mythical. After a year, I started to sell a lot of flies to the shops. So from the fly tying, I started to make wooden lures. The lures started to win tournaments. And from those tournaments, I opened my own company. I saw no boundaries. Let's try this. Let's try it at least once. I mean, it's, it's a dream come true kind of thing, you know? This is the black zonker. Yeah. This is the zonker. That's the zonker. Holy shit, dude. There's never been a plan of becoming uh, a successful tournament angler or, I mean, selling tons of baits worldwide or seeing my lures on Instagram accounts where you know, people stand there super proud of showing fishes. I learned always follow the gut feeling. What's the worst that could happen? It led me to having my own TV show. <laughs> Fiske, den fantastiska nordiska naturen och ett riktigt schysst käk. At the moment I'm in uh, Washington state uh, in the small town of Forks trying to catch one of the mystical steelheads. The steelhead is an ocean-growing, overgrown rainbow trout. Uh, 
then they go out to sea and come back two years later, three years later, four years later, and it's this really big, giant, cool fish. No rock, baby. My name is Jim Kerr. We're on the Olympic Peninsula, and I'm a fishing guide. I guide fishing trips for a living. I think I will put my, my hours in every technique there is to catch one of these ones. Of course, I would prefer to catch it in one way, but I would love to catch it in any way. I feel super excited. I think this is gonna be a blast. Today is the day. So the plan is uh, we are gonna jump in this boat when you guys are prepared. We are gonna race down river a ways, trying to catch a fish, and then we're gonna get down into the canyon and get some scenics in there and hopefully a fish. I must say the wilderness here, it feels uh, very untouched. One thing that, that struck me this morning was we're close to the ocean. We've got a lot, of, a lot of beautiful mountains around this area. And when we were drifting with a, with a boat today in one of the, the narrow, narrow parts of the river, and I saw this foggy, almost cloudy, I was very, uh, I mean, like a picture, stunning. Steelhead. Uh, need healthy ecosystems to thrive. There really aren't native steelhead in any abundance anywhere else in, in the continental U.S. any longer. Does this? Like sinks and does this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sinks and stages does like that. That's your back, right? Hey, I was really excited to meet you, man. I hope the rest of your trip is fun.